Good morning everyone and welcome to day number 11, 12, what's the date? It's the 12th of December. Welcome to day 12 of No Diet December. I hope you've had a good week. I've had a busy week. It's been, well yesterday in particular was nuts. Um, I just feel like I have a lot of things to fit into the day at the moment. Um, and perhaps I need to take some of my own advice from yesterday's episode um, and start to say no to some things. However, there is one big thing that's happening today that I'm definitely not saying no to, and that is that I am travelling up to Scotland for a long weekend to see my family and my friends. As you can see, I've got all my gifts ready to take in the background if you're watching on the video if you're listening to the podcast you'll just have to use your imagination um and uh, i'm going to see my mum my friends i'm also going to have my hair done today which is quite exciting um although i live in rotherham i still go to glasgow to get my hair cut <laughs> i haven't quite um got round to finding a new hairdresser yet um and it's been nine months but I love my hairdresser in Glasgow. Shout out to Karen if you're watching um, or listening. I um, think I will probably continue to go to Karen forever and ever. Uh, And I'm going to see my two... Well, obviously I'm going to see my sister as well. um, But I'm going to see my two nieces. I have two nieces, uh, Thea, who turned four uh, two days ago. And I didn't manage to make it to our birthday party, so I'm looking forward to seeing her. And Lexi, who is nine months, I think. Uh, Hopefully I've got that right. Um, So I'm really excited about seeing them, and most of the parcels in the background you'll see there are for them, because, let's face it, Christmas is about the kids, really, isn't it? So I've got two nieces, and I'm really excited to see them. And then back down on Sunday night um, for the final working week of 2019 next week. So that's really exciting. Um, Before I start on today's topic, which is going to be a short one, um, just a reminder now that the waiting list for our January intake of the five-day intro to Ditch the Diet um, is now sitting at 200 people. And if you want to join in January... Um, to find out what Ditch the Diet's all about if you've been watching these videos and you've been like what is this all about Um, and you want to know more then um, go to ditchthedietacademy.com forward slash five days the number five in the word days and join the waiting list for our January programme it's just five days um, it starts on Monday the 6th of January and it's the best way for you to come and find out what Ditch the Diet actually is um, and get a feel for it So you don't have to do anything else just now. All you've got to do is put your name on that waiting list so that you can be the first to hear via email when we open the doors for booking. Good morning uh, to Marlene and Donna who are watching live on Facebook. Good morning to those of you on Instagram TV and a very good morning to those of you on the podcast. Um, So I'm not sure if I have... um, If you've seen one of the posts that I made this morning both on Facebook and Instagram... Um, but it was surrounding the way that we think and the way we, that we talk to ourselves and the, the things that we put ourselves through um, on a day-to-day basis, month-by-month basis, even year-by-year basis um, when it comes to restricting ourselves of certain things. So I want you to put your hand up. You can, If you're listening on the podcast, you can just physically put your hand up. You might look a bit silly if you're in, in the office, Skype and listen to the podcast, but put your hand up. And if you're listening on Facebook Live, um, just give me a little hands up emoji. You know, one of those little little people that just like, me, me. Um, if you've ever said any of these things to yourself. Okay, are you ready? Number one. I need to be good today because I'm going to be bad tonight. Number two, I better eat everything that I can now because come January, that's it. I am definitely, definitely, definitely going to do it this time. Number three, I can't believe I ate that yesterday. I better not eat that much today. Number four, ah, fuck it. I may as well just keep eating this. Insert random 
piece of food um, because I've ruined it now so I might as well just keep going I can't remember what number I'm on my memory's pretty bad at the moment I've got a lot in my mind um, number five, number six um, I should restrict myself of a certain food item uh, because yesterday I was bad or you know do you know what I mean um, these types of thoughts um, put your hand up as well if you've ever thought that losing weight need, means that you need to put yourself through misery so I better be good today because tomorrow I'm going to be on a diet and it's going to be misery, misery, misery from here on in thinking things to yourself like I'm not like I'm not good enough what's the point um, I've tried this before so what's the point in trying again um, or you know that come January life is going to be miserable because you're going back to Weight Watchers Slimming World Herbalife Juice Plus um, back to counting calories on your My Fitness Pal app uh, macros back to the gym and you know that come January boom no more fun no more mince pies no more chocolate no more wine no more beers with dinner every single night leading up to Christmas and New Year is that just me um, no more uh, chocolate biscuits no more I don't know what do you like what do you eat over Christmas and New Year because you know come January all of that is going to stop 2nd of January in England 3rd of January in Scotland because we know that 2nd of January is a holiday in Scotland we don't get that in England um, you know that you're going to be having a green smoothie for breakfast a salad for lunch that consists of cucumber iceberg lettuce tomatoes and a little bit of tuna you're going to avoid the snack cupboard, which has still got leftover tin of roses from before you left work, before Christmas and New Year. Um, and then at dinner time, you're going to have salmon and vegetables. And then the kids go to bed at eight o'clock, and by half past eight, nine o'clock, you are raiding the biscuit tin. That was my life. And I can guarantee that a lot of you listening and watching will be able to resonate with that because I know that I'm not alone. Um, so let me just put this bluntly because there's only one way to put these things and that's blunt. If you are currently thinking like that, thinking that because of what you're doing at the moment, eating and drinking certain things, that come January you need to punish yourself because you've been bad that is not a productive that is not a healthy way to be thinking because we know I've talked about this before loads of times that the words that you say to yourself the things that you say to yourself in your head or out loud have a massively a massive effect on your well-being you cannot underestimate now let me just underline this and bold it and put it in italics you cannot underestimate the power of the thoughts that go through your head and the physical feelings that you get from that and the physical actions that you take or the physical actions that you do not take as a result of the things that you think if you think you're a failure guess what if you think you can't do it guess what if you're currently um, identify as someone who is a, who always fails then guess what you're always going to get moving forward it starts with this if you're listening on the podcast I'm pointing to my head because if you do not start with the thoughts that are going through your head then you cannot physically make positive change and if the thoughts are negative then guess what the change is going to be negative too and I'm not just saying that to be a negative Nancy because trust me and those of you who know me you'll know that I can be a bit of a, a moany bitch sometimes and I can get myself into a very very downward spiral with my thoughts but I can tell you from personal experience that it does it starts here if you are thinking of going back and doing something again 
that you've done this year multiple times that has made you feel miserable. Now that can be anything, it might even be your job. Then you need to understand that you're going to get exactly the same as what you've got now. And believe it or not, and I know it's me sitting here telling you this and um, it's easy for me to sit here and tell you this, but it doesn't actually have to be like that. You can talk to anybody who has been a Ditch the Diet Academy member this year or perhaps not even been a member but just been following the page um, a bit longer than maybe you have is that these thoughts that you're having don't like you, they don't have to be forever but you're in control of this you are in full control of the way that you think the way that you eat the thoughts that you attach to what you're eating the thoughts that you attach to how you're exercising and you're in control of whether or not you do that to yourself again and again and again. You're in control. You can actually sit there right now and say, do you know what? This is not productive and I am not going to go into another new year and what happens to be a new decade as well. Not that that makes any difference. Treating myself in the same way that I've treat myself. Treat? Is that even a word? I think it is a word in, in, uh, in Yorkshire. Um, I am not going to treat myself the way I've treated myself in uh, 2019, moving forward into next year. It's a choice. So that's it for me today because I am going to go and place my vote in the ballot box. I hope all of you are going to do the same. And then I'm going to get in my car, turn the volume up and stick... Um, some Christmas tunes on the radio so I hope you have a fantastic weekend because um, I'm not sure if I'll be on tomorrow or not um, um, but I will certainly be back next week and if you have any questions or comments or anything that you would like me to cover either on Facebook Live, IGTV or on the podcast you can email me um, just pop an email to rach, R-A-C-H, at ditchthedietacademy.com or you can just pop me a message on Facebook or Instagram and I'll cover that for you um, if I can. Thanks for watching this week and for being here, for listening. If you find this useful and you know someone that might find it useful as well, please do share it with them, um, either the podcast or the uh, video. Just hit the share button. I'd much appreciate it. So thank you very much for being here and I'll see you next time.